Hello, welcome to Class Think. Um, I'm just testing out the newly released Android screen mirroring for uh, Chromecast, uh, which I'm amazed by. It works really well. Uh, as you can see, um, this could be your uh, classroom projector or um, TV screen. And this game is running on my Android phone. And as you can see, it's really smooth. It's mirroring exactly what's on the, on the screen of my phone. It's really smooth. Uh, it works really well. It's really quick, and one of the big problems with um, Miracast, which was sort of an alternative that was available before, is that it took forever to connect, and it was a bit glitchy, and it didn't really work very well. But this works so smoothly, even with something graphically intensive, uh, like this game that I'm playing here. Obviously, you're probably not going to be wanting to just play games in your classroom. Um, and you can see it mirrors the, the, the screen perfectly. Um, and if I open up the Chromecast app, let me see if I can put it on the side there, you can see you get a full screen image as well. And again, this is running on my, my phone, and this will work with um, a lot of most modern Android devices and phones and tablets. There is a, a list um, of supported devices, um, which I'll put in the, uh, the um, description below the video, but it just works really, really well. And you see it's perfect. And to, so on a, I haven't got a stock Android device, I've got an HTC One, but on the stock Android uh, devices there's just a screen mirroring option in the settings here. I haven't got that so what I have to do is go through the Chromecast app, select cast screen from the side and it literally takes a second to connect and disconnect, so let's disconnect there, reconnect, select my Chromecast, and it's reconnected. It's really cool. I'm really happy with this. Um, this is something that I've been waiting for in, to use in school for a long time. I think that's part of the reason the iPad's been so popular is because the screen mirroring options turn the iPad into a real, really powerful teaching tool. Uh, and this does the same for Android. You can do um, well. Basically, you can, you can show anything that you can put on the on the screen. So if you've got a presentation, maybe in Google Slides, you can pop your presentation up. And it's just amazing you can do this from your phone. It's, it's really cool. Um, and again, it works from tablets as well. So you've got an Android tablet, a Nexus 7, Nexus 10. And it also supports a lot of the most popular uh, Samsung tablets. It works really well. Let's load that up. Now, there, there are a few, um, a few issues with this. Uh, this is still a consumer device, so you need... Chromecast app on your phone and a Chromecast um, dongle, which is about thirty pounds, about thirty-five dollars. Um, there are links in the description to, to grab that. Um, but you can't at the moment. You can't password protect it in any way. So if you've got the Chromecast plugged into your uh, school Wi-Fi connect uh, network, anyone on that same network can take over your device um, anonymously and. Uh, uh, and use the, and mirror to your screen, so it's not ideal at the moment. Um, there are uh, rumblings that there's going to be a, a pin number option that will arrive, so you can sort of set a pin number on your um, Chromecast and limit who can get access to it. So that would be fantastic. Once that happens, um, this is going to be brilliant for for use in schools. Um, the only other thing I want to see Google do is plug this, connect this into Google Apps, because being able to centrally manage Chromecast. Uh, dongles around your school, like in the same way you can manage your um, Chromebooks or Chrome OS devices, it's going to be fantastic. So this has got massive potential, it's really, it works really well, I, in fact I think it works better than um, AirPlay for iPad, so if Google can continue to support this, um, and it, it's going to be really cool. So um, there's more information in the description down below and also on ClassThink. Uh, if you enjoyed this video let me know, uh, let me know in the comments or on the Classing forums, and please like and subscribe, and it'll just help grow the channel a bit more. Thanks very much, see you soon.